Hi, I'm Danielle and welcome to Books and Beyond. Today I have a Fabled unboxing. This is Fabled's January box. Um, it's June when you're watching this most likely, but um, I did get this in um, May, like the last week of May. So um, without further ado, I'm gonna go and open it. Um, they have been running behind. Um, so this did ship from Australia. I actually had to go to the post office to pick it up because I wasn't here to sign for it, which is really annoying because I don't like signing for stuff, you know to drive to the post office it's kind of a pain staying in line um but anyway so they are behind but they are trying to catch up a lot of this has to do with printers so this is the trinity box um i believe this is my last trinity box um for a while at least um because uh they have um their their fable twilight book wasn't wasn't my favorite i'll just put it that way so this one, the Trinity is all three of their main subscriptions, which are Fabled Twilight, Fabled Moonlight, and Fabled Nights. Fabled, um, well, I'll talk about each one. They also have a new Fabled Midnight, which is um, like super, 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 super dark romance, supposedly. Uh, I haven't, I skipped the first one they did. Um, so that one is quarterly um, and that one, is um they've had two now so i didn't get the first one but i did get the second one so one of these days you'll see one of those also but this should be fabled twilight fabled moonlight and um fabled nights so i'm gonna have to oh man they did wrap them good coming all the way from australia so i'm gonna give them that all right, so I don't remember which of these is which, so I might be guessing here, um, but oh my goodness. Oh, I don't know what this is. Wow, it's stunning though. So Fabled actually has been really reliable. I had them for quite a while, and this is really the first time that they've really dealt with delays, and they've apologized profusely, um, you know, because a lot of it is stuff out of their hands. This has happened with a lot of book boxes, um, I know. I was looking today, um, like Lit Haven is one that I've been trying to um, get um, a book. I've ordered all of last year, I ordered several books and I still haven't gotten any of those um, as special editions. They're not a subscription box, they just do um, the other stuff. So, all right, so let me go ahead. Oh my gosh, this is thick. Oh, no wonder. Okay, I'm not gonna use that. I'm gonna try and do it with just my nails. There we go. This is one I was really looking forward to. This is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. So it's got a slip case. Look at this slip case. Look at that. It's so beautiful. Oh my gosh. I know my light's not the best. I'm so sorry. But this is so gorgeous. Look at that. And then the back. So it's this pattern is just stunning. It's like this coppery color. Um, so it says on the edge here, sometimes what we consider monstrous changes depending on the lighting. Oh. And then here is our book. This is the back cover. Let me flip it over. The This is the Flame and Sparrow duology. Oh, so is this two books in one? Is this an omnibus? by S.M. Uh, Gaither. I'm probably saying that wrong. So here we have our end pages. Um, no reverse art, which is fine. Cause that, oh, this was, yeah, Victoria Alyssa. Um, this person has done other book boxes and they do a really good job. But look at that. I just love how this just like looks on the page. Sometimes we hold on to painful things because letting them go feels like letting go of the person who gave them to us. Look at this. So we have our um, sprayed edges. We have the bird. I, I've heard this is a good series. So um, it's solid on the, oh, it's purple on top and it's red on the bottom. I just love this color scheme. It's really pretty. Okay, and then there we have so Flame and Sparrow duology. So I'm guessing, oh, and it's signed by the author, special signed edition. All right, author's note, dedication. 
Here is our chapter headers, which is beautiful. They do do like a bigger, um, like a whiter um, paper. It's like a different kind of paper. Um, really, like the font is pretty big, so that could be also why it's so huge. So don't quite be so intimidated. Here we go. Here we go. So I don't know. Um, it says a duology, so I'm going to guess there's two books in there. I wish there was like a chapter header. Maybe I missed it. I don't know. I'm going to kind of like scroll through here. Chapter 38, chapter 40, chapter 42, 45. 49. So maybe this is just book one. Oh yes. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't, I missed that. So this is book one. So there's going to be a second book. Hopefully that they announce that soon. Cause I definitely would want this to match that one. I didn't know this book was so thick though. Oh my gosh. It's super thick. Careful reading it. So you don't have 600 and 700 and 722 pages but again this is pretty big um font so okay so i don't know if this is the i think this is the fabled twilight book don't quote me on that they used to have little um bookmarks to go with them which was nice because then i knew exactly what um I knew exactly what I was, oh, let me go, don't want to squish it, there we go, and I knew exactly which book was which, and like I said, these were announced, this was last year, so 2023, it's now 2024, I mean, this is 2024's book, but I usually announce it like a month or two ahead, I think it's like a month ahead, okay, so we have our other two books in here, oh, my goodness, okay, dress. Okay, so this one is not yeah, wrapped well for kind of so far. They do have a US distribution center that is coming through. Um, it's coming online soon, so things will ship a little faster. They're kind of still organizing that too on top of everything with all the shipping delays and whatnot. So. Oh, and Fable Twilight is fantasy, just so you know, uh, if this is the Fable Twilight. They are fantasy, and they're less, supposed to be not as spicy, like, like one to three chili peppers. So, Fabled Moonlight is, Fabled Moonlight is more spicy, but it's more like paranormal fantasy. Okay, by any other name, Kate King. Oh, okay. So... Ooh, oh wow, that's like super dark. As you can kind of see there. Any other name? This is our fabled. Let's see here. Oh, even the author's info is done. There you go. So nice kind of solid. Um, it's really dark, but it's it's kind of cool looking too. I don't mind it so much um, with the silver. And this is like the roses continued all the way around. Really dark sprayed edge, but um, not so bad. All right, so let's read. Oh, I did see a synopsis in here somewhere. Did there, was there a synopsis in the other one? Did I miss that? I'm so sorry. If I did. Oh no, there is no synopsis on this. Well, those ones you'll have to go look. Sometimes what we consider mantras changes depending on the lighting. <laughs> That's true. Okay, sorry, I didn't see that one. Um, yeah, so that one um, I don't have. I do know this is fantasy, though, so go out on a limb and say this is the favorite spotlight still. All right, so this one we don't have a synopsis for either on the inside. That's the only thing is when you have, like, this nice print. It is pretty, though. Any other name? Kate King. Oh, I like how she signed it. <laughs> the little crown. It's nice. Okay. Okay. So, ooh, this is like, okay, so I know this is really hard to see, but there's some leaves in the background. Super dark, though. Really, really dark. Yeah, see how big this print is on this? This is really big. Like, 
Like you could read that easily. Okay, let me look, let's see. Um, okay, so here's, I'm gonna read the synopsis on the back of this one. All right, so this one is, he's seduced by the darkness, but she's always been his son. In the elite university town of Stratford, Massachusetts, a secret society of eight wealthy and influential families use occult witchcraft to maintain their power and privilege. The entire society is dangerous, but the bitter blood feud between rival families, the Capulets and the Montagues, okay, gotcha. Well, Romeo and Juliet retelling makes them almost as infamous as Staff Stratford itself. Etta Capulet has always been a good girl. Roman Montague is anything but good. But despite their differences, their vicious family rivalry, and years of curses, threats, and murders, Roman has secretly loved Etta as long as he can remember. So when he hears her moaning his name through her open bedroom window, uh, he vows to make her his until death do they part. So there you go. So I'm going to say this is a fabled moonlight book because there's witches involved, witchcraft. Um, so that's like a, probably a darker, like, paranormal type theme. So let's look at this next one. So this one will definitely tell us which is which I think once I see what it is. This one does have Twisted Game, Filthy Wicked Psychos, book one by Eva Ashwood. Ooh, okay. So I'm going to say this is The Fabled Nights because... Just the, the, the phrase twisted game and with filthy wicked psychos tells me, oh, it's a dark, um, darker. So like Fable Nights is like, um, they can be more contemporary, but maybe a little bit, they're supposed to be more on the spicy scale, but they can be dark, but not super dark, I guess. Because the midnight one that I was just telling you about is supposed to be like really dark, um, which, you know, it's like, I kind of like that they're doing like it four times a year because I feel like that's the kind of book that I only read a few times a year because I can't read just straight dark all the time because that can put you in a funk you know <laughs> okay so here we go we got like this pretty this is book one I'll read the back of this one real quick I was the girl no one looked at twice until they saw me my whole life no one had my back my parents are dead my adoptive mother is a drug addict and the mean girls on campus mock me for my scars so when I end up desperate for money and out of options, I agree to sell the one thing I have left, my innocence. On the night I meant to give my body to a brutal Russian mobster. Okay, so this is definitely dark. Uh, three men storm into the room like dark shadows and kill him before he can claim me. When they drag me from the blood-soaked bed, I'm certain they're going to kill me too. They don't, but they forget about. But they don't forget about me either. These three dangerous brothers will do anything to make sure I keep my mouth shut about what I saw, even if it means stalking me every my every movement. I'm a loose thread to them, but somehow I'm becoming more than that too. I'm becoming an obsession, a temptation, a craving. And no matter how much I try to deny the terrifying attraction that pulses between us, I know if I don't find a way out of this tangled web soon, their darkness will swallow me up. So possibly reverse harem? I'm not sure. All right. Sometimes the people, this is like on the sprayed edge. Sometimes the people you love turn your love against you and it's the most brutal weapon in the world so yeah so this is definitely our darker romance book here we go here's our naked hardcover which is actually kind of cool i like this flower detail on it that's kind of nice and there we go there's our little stripes okay and it is solid top and bottom on there and then we have Let's see how long this one is. Let's see. Oh yeah, see, it's that same side font, so not very big. Signed by the author. I love this. This chapter header is really pretty. Very pretty. Nice. Are they all the same? Yeah. Oh, very cool. And then um, let's just look in the back. So let's see if we have, let's see how many pages it is for. Ooh, what's this? Oh, see, okay, so here we go. This is a bonus chapter exclusive for Fabled. So that's cool. I always like that. Oh, it's like double spaced. <laughs> All right. So there you go. So there is our Fabled Nights. This is the a Fabled Moonlight. So this has got more of a paranormal. Uh, fantasy edge. Is this is from bonus content too. I didn't even check. 
Let's see. Because I kind of like that. Bill's content's cool. Like, because I feel like you're getting something a little extra. Some blank pages. Got a lot of blank pages. Why is there so many blank pages in the back? That's weird. Is there meant to be bonus content in here? That's kind of like a strange thing. I wonder. It could be, or I've never seen that. I'm going to have to send an email and ask him. Interesting. Okay. So that one didn't. I wonder if this one does. Because I'm like, this is the one I'm probably most excited to read. But look how big it is. I'm a little intimidated by the size. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it's a little, a little much. <laughs> Okay, now this one is, um, it is what it is. This one doesn't have any bonus content, but maybe in the next one, maybe in book two. If they, I hope they do book two because I would definitely love a book that matches this. I would definitely love that. So here we go. So we have our fabled Twilight here, and then we have our Fabled Nights by any other name. So Flame and Sparrow by any other name. Our Fabled, oh, I'm sorry, Fabled Moonlight. And then we have our Fabled Nights. So this is our darker one. All right. So anyway, if you see what you like, if you have any questions, um, please comment below. I'd love to know um, what you guys think. If any of you subscribe to Fabled, um, if you like it, um, any any feedback is, you know, I'd be interested in hearing what other people think of this box because um, they kind of alluded to in their social media that people have been very negative towards them, which I don't understand because they've actually been really, um, uh, really good up until the recent delays, which isn't, is not normal for them. So that's why I don't know why they're getting such a hard time, but. Anyway, um, so anyway, like and subscribe if you'd like to see more book unboxings. Um, I did switch to the Fable Duet, so that'll be the next one when February's come through. And hopefully I'll be getting that sooner rather than later. And I hope that they catch up soon. I really do hope so because these the quality of the books is really good. Um, so anyway, I will see you all in the next video. Bye!